Welcome to another studio vlog. I have been so busy painting for the last like week and a half. I have done 11 paintings for a collection that I've been working on. Usually for my painting collections, they are seven to nine pieces. This collection, as I said, it's already at 11 pieces. If you wanna get technical, like 11 and a half, because I have a really, really large one, almost the size of that water painting in my closet that I started last year. I'm gonna get that one out and finish it for this collection. You saw that at the beginning of the video, that aerial landscape. So there's a couple of those in this collection, and then there's a bunch of other pieces over here. This collection is called Chasing Wonder, and it's essentially all these places that my husband and I have kind of like chased or sought out. The wonder aspect is like, these are the moments that kind of caught me off guard and I was in awe when I saw them and I was like, wow, I have to get a picture of this. It's a sweet collection because it's bringing out my adventurous side. I am somebody who loves that adrenaline rush. I sit in the front seat on roller coasters <laughs> and I really, really love hiking and just seeing the world and the beautiful things that God made. And there's just so many simple things in life that can be enjoyed that kind of take your breath away. So I'm trying to pull little snippets of that in my travels together to create that like feeling of awe. It has been really, really joyful to do this. And as I said, there's 11 pieces so far. I was planning to shoot for 15 to 20 pieces for this collection because I have an album on my phone of pictures I have taken over the years that I would love to paint and a lot of them fit into this concept. I'm kind of wondering like, should I do a part one and a part two of this collection? So I could release like 15 pieces on October 11th. That's when this collection is coming out. We are like, what, halfway through September right now? No, September 23rd. So yeah, I could release like 15 pieces, October 11th and some prints. And then if I wanna pick up with this and continue it, I could release more at a later date. Anyway, I'm sitting at my desk to paint some of these because they're like smaller paintings. It's the camera I use to film. I was gonna upgrade my camera and I actually upgraded my iPad instead. So I have a new iPad and that's really helpful because I can design a lot more merch for my shop and stuff again. There's another peek at some paintings in this collection. At the end of this, once everything is done, I'm gonna paint the edges of all the canvases and then I'm gonna varnish them but for now they're all just drying and I'm gonna wait to paint the edges because I like to have the edges match for some pieces. So I just wanna wait. I think I'm nearing the end of part one of this collection. So this piece here will be the last like small piece that I'm gonna do. I think it's six by eight if I remember right. I blocked in most of it yesterday. So I just have to do like the fine details and then I'm adding like a red building to it. So that will be cool. After that, I need to edit a video and then prep a shop launch for Friday, which I think this vlog will go up Friday. So I try to line up my studio vlogs with my shop launches because number one, it's a lot less confusing than like if I'm talking about a launch, but like it already happened or something like that. I don't know. It just, in my mind, it makes things easier. I feel like it makes things easier for you folks. <laughs> but I have some really cool stuff to show you for that launch. And once I get this cleaned up, I'll show you. Because there's a lot of um, fall themed things, but also some really cute pencil cases. Multiple pencil cases. So that's cool. This is the picture I'm painting. I took it when we were in Norway and I was on a train. It was like really fast, but I saw this and like quick snapped the photo. I really enjoy this collection because it's like a lot moodier artwork than what I would normally do. And I am actually really, really drawn to that kind of art, but I never make it for myself. But I'm trying to just do the things that I've always wanted to do and I keep putting it off because otherwise I'm never gonna do it. I 
All right, I'm doing the snow caps on the mountains now. This is the part that I've been like looking forward to, but it's also intimidating, you know? But also one thing, I did alter this photo a little bit, and this is an example of like creative liberties that you can take when you're painting. But see this photo here, I couldn't really adjust my angle because I was on a train going really fast and I just wanted to snap this photo. But this roof blends in with the mountains and I didn't really want that in my painting. So instead, I made the building a little bit smaller and then I made water behind the roof instead of the roof blending in with the mountains just to make it pop a little bit more. I am really happy with that decision because <laughs> I feel like there's just too many similar colors and I didn't want to change the color of the roof. So I just made the building a little bit smaller. This is making me really want to read a book about surviving up in the mountains again. I really wish I could reread Into Thin Air by John Krakauer for the first time, but like get the first time experience, but I've already read it, so I wouldn't get that. Um, but I need to find more books like that because I love that kind of stuff. I am like not a romance book kind of person or like murder mystery type person. I like books about like surviving in the wilderness. I did finish The Great Alone and that was such a good book. There's a little bit of romance in that book, but that wasn't like the main part of the story, so. I think she's done. I'm gonna clean up my brushes and then start editing a video that's gonna go up later today. It's mostly edited. I'm not starting it. <laughs> it takes me a really long time to edit. And then I have some things to show you folks because I'm going to do the pencil case launch, which I mentioned just a couple minutes ago, but I'm going to show you the pencil cases. We can take photos together. It's going to be a pretty busy day. Also, I have a really random question. So I've been seeing a bunch of dead bees in my windowsills and finding alive bees in my house. And one of them stung my daughter. So now I'm like really freaked out, you know, like how are they getting in my house? My question, do you think I have a hive like in my walls or is it normal to get bees in your house at this time of year? I would really love some input because I, I think I'm also allergic to bees. So I'm like really freaked out right now. Just FYI. Welcome to my creepy basement. I feel like I say that every time we're down here, but at this point, that's the studio's vibe. I am down here because I am retrieving some items from the Gummy Pumpkin collection that will be launching Friday. Hopefully I can get this vlog up by then because right now it's looking a little dicey, but let me show you some stuff. Maybe I put the tape down here. Okay, yeah, I did. If you hear a humming, it's just like furnace, stuff like that. My basement is just like that. Here's the gummy pumpkin washi tapes. I will open them upstairs because I'm about to take photos. I'm just gonna take three of these with me. I don't think I'll need any more than that. So I need to make sure this area is stocked with gummy pumpkins. Okay, Sophia actually did that for me. Aw, that was really nice of her. She did not have to do that. <laughs> I think I need to come up with a better organization system or get more of these ones for over here. I like these small drawers, you know, for stickers, but a lot of my stickers are actually too big for these drawers. So I have to put them in these drawers over here, but these drawers are actually intended for my washi tapes. So I might just need to reconfigure this area to make it a little more logical for the situation because Sophia has one too, and hers is kind of getting out of hand too. Like she just layers a bunch of stickers in these drawers at her packing station. But what we're actually thinking about doing, so she packs orders at this station here, 
and then over here is where I pack orders. We are generally not packing at the same time unless it's like the holiday season or if I have like a huge shop lunch and I'm getting like more than 30 orders in a day, which with the economy right now, that's not like really happening. So it's usually just one of us down here at a time. But we have two stations here and then behind you folks, the camera, I'm going to show you a little view that is not pretty. Let me cover up some like addresses and stuff first though. So behind me is like my furnace <laughs> and the other side of my basement we have like housing insulation and a bunch of stuff stored back there. It is not pretty. My basement is not finished and I actually only have like a half basement in this house and you can see way back in my crawl space. So when I say welcome to my creepy basement I'm seeing that. You folks are seeing this but I'm seeing that. And my basement is pretty small. We're trying to make the most of our space here. And we have this fold up table that we use for like canvas prints right now. All that to say, I think we're gonna get another cabinet like this and do like a U shape. That way we have better storage. And if for any reason, which it does happen, that we need to work at that fold up table, we will have a higher table to work at and our backs won't hurt anymore. And then we'll be able to utilize this whole area so much better. And all that to say, we would put storage up top that table and try to like hide the furnace behind it with a curtain or some sort of thing. This has been hiding in my box of shipping tubes for a really long time. And now it's like this running joke and we'll make like Elmo peeking up in random places. It's kind of funny actually. I am down here for gummy pumpkin stuff. Okay. Look at how cute these notepads are though. So I need to take pictures of these. I will probably take one of these for myself and then gift one to Sophia because she very kindly put all of these in sleeves to protect them from getting damaged in transit. And that is a very tedious process. We usually do it together. She did this one all on her own. There's 100 of these notepads, by the way. I generally do very small batches of all my stuff because I'm not getting like thousands and thousands of orders. I'm like a really small business. So 100 notepads is actually a lot. It's probably gonna take a really long time for these to sell out. But also 100 notepads, I think, is the bare minimum that I am allowed to produce. So I can't do any less than this either. That's why it's really hard for me to come out with new items because some businesses set like minimums and if I know I'm not gonna sell like over a hundred units of an item, then I can't produce it. Like it's not in my budget and it's just not logical and I don't have the space. So it's always like a feeling things out thing. Oh, let me show you something else. This is something I have been so excited about and I have tried so hard not to talk about this on my channel until they were here and I could show you. I made little phone grips. This is what it looks like and you can use it to hold your phone. You hold on to it. I need to put this on my phone, but I just ordered a new OtterBox because mine broke and I think it comes in the mail later today. So I can update you later in this vlog if my phone case comes because I'm definitely putting this on my phone case. Super excited about it. This feels super durable and like high quality. Um, I really love that I got the protective coating on it too because it's just a little thicker. I also have another confession for y'all. So another reason why we want to get a cabinet, I bought a heat press and I am so excited for this because I'm going to start making sweatshirts, t-shirts, and a lot of other things and Sophia and I are just gonna do it here because if you pay other businesses to do that, it is a lot of money and if we just do it ourselves, then we can do more things in smaller batches. So we are gonna learn the ins and outs of doing sublimation and DTF transfers because I would like to sell more functional items and not just like washi tape and stickers and notepads and prints. I have been branching out a lot doing like pencil cases and stuff but I think we're at the point now where my business is going to start changing and I'm going to start expanding into other things. I have been wanting to do this for years. I released sweatshirts a couple years ago, actually, and it went well, but there was some pushback with some things. Like, I only offered one color of the sweatshirt 
I was at the mercy of my manufacturer for like what sizes I was allowed to offer. Because of that, I wasn't allowed to offer as inclusive of sizes as I wanted. So if I do this myself, then I can choose, like do more inclusive sizes, pick the colors more and stuff, and it, it's just gonna be a win-win for everything. I'm really excited for that. Anyway, I'm down here to get stuff for product photos. <laughs> Let's go back upstairs, cause, oh, I have something else to show you. I made gummy pumpkin pencil cases. I am so excited for this. This is probably the cutest pencil case I have made so far. And uh, I'm doing like a whole gummy pumpkin themed launch on Friday. So there's like tape, stickers, phone holder, pencil case, um, and notepads. So yeah, and I think I'm gonna do a bundle listing too so you can get like all of them in a bundle, but I'm probably only gonna do like 10 of those because I don't have a ton of all of these things. As I said, I make things in small batches because I'm a very small business. But yeah, if I can do like 10 bundles, that would be kind of sweet. It feels so much better down here, like wow. So I have some pillowcases here. You might be wondering why. It's because it's photography day in my studio. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with these. I have some new pencil cases in my shop and I showed you these in my basement, but here the lighting is better. This is my gummy pumpkin pencil case. Look at that, the inside looks so good. These ones feel so nice. Anyway. I am about to take product photos of these, but they need to look like they're full for props, and I am not going to fill six bags with art supplies to do this. So what I like to do is I stuff them with pillowcases, and then I zip them back up, and it looks full and nice so that I can get good photos of these. I will put my art supplies in some of them for the photos. You gotta do what you gotta do to get some good pics. Okay, I need to show you something though. So this is the pencil case that I have been keeping a complete secret, but this is my Strawberry Dream pencil case and I am loving this one so much. Ah, oh, look at that. Loving it, loving it. The inside of this one also has my logo. So yeah, right now I'm just taking some pillowcases, stuffing them full, and I'm gonna get some photos of these. I feel like pillowcases are the perfect thing. We have so many of them in our linen closet in our guest bedroom that just don't really get used. <laughs> okay, but look at how cute they are. I love all the little details. These ones took a long time to develop. I think I'm gonna take pictures with my DSLR for these ones. I usually use my phone for product photos, but lately I'm kind of feeling like my phone is a little bit outdated. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's kind of old and slow these days, so I think it would just be faster if I use my camera. I also need to figure out what backdrops I'm using, because this pink piece of paper is kind of, ew. Okay, this peach one actually would look really nice. There's a lot going on. Plus, I have to sign these prints because I totally forgot they're supposed to come out with this launch because this is like my fall launch. The strawberry bags were supposed to happen way earlier this summer, so it's not really like the fall part of the launch, but they're still coming out. I'm gonna use this camera here, and then I have two big lights that go on my desk, and I make sure I do this on a day, like today's kind of overcast, so I have really good natural light coming in. I have light from all three sides here. I lay down various pieces of paper, and then I photograph it right there. Okay, right now I am getting ready to take photos of this gummy pumpkin washi tape. So I'm laying out a bunch of it on this piece of paper. If you sell your products in your shop, just a word of advice, it makes a huge difference to stage your stuff. If you just list like one picture, not that helpful to buyers. Think about yourself when you're shopping. What do you like to see? You like to see a lot of pictures. So just keep that in mind. Then I like to arrange my tapes, keep it simple, but serves its purpose. I like to get some macro shots too. I think I'm gonna take a break from this and go eat lunch with my kids. 
Okay, just had lunch. I'm taking photos of the pencil cases now, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of stuff. Here's my setup. It's really nothing fancy. It's a bunch of layered paper. I'm just stacking them in different configurations, snapping photos from different angles. Pretty fun stuff. I took photos of these notepads too. Oh my goodness, look how cute these are. There's 50 pages in them. I love them so much. I think they're my favorite notepads I've done so far. I made them a couple months ago actually and they've just been sitting because I've been prepping for this launch for like ever. So yeah, at this point, I think I'm pretty much done taking photos. I'm gonna edit everything on my computer and then if I need to do any retakes, I will. This is probably gonna take me at least the rest of the day. This will probably bleed into tomorrow though. So I'm really thankful to Sophia for working an extra day this week. It was so helpful. I am so excited for these. I finalized them back in July and it was a lot of going back and forth to get this one done, both of these. Now they're here. Feels so good. I still need to set up my Shopify counter so like you can see when sales come in. I think I'm actually gonna set it up in my downstairs studio though because I've been discussing with my husband the possibility of live streaming packing orders. I think it's just a really cool way to connect with people and people want to see the love and care that goes into packaging orders with a small business. I am not somebody who enjoys live streaming. I will never probably do that for art. If I do, like I'm shocked. <laughs> I myself am shocked. But I think I would enjoy it for something like packing orders. Okay, let's clean these up. Just gonna sit all my photo props. Ooh, maybe I'll put them over here. I emptied my pencil case that I've been using so that I could use my supplies as props. This is a little pencil case my sister-in-law made me also. Pile of papers. By the way, I'm gonna touch up that bottom painting because I feel like it's just not fitting into the collection and it needs some for sure contrast within the trees. Time to sign Creatures of Peace prints. All of the photos for the shop listings have been taken, edited. I made the listings. Everything is done except for this painting and the prints. So I need to make that happen. And then tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just go to a coffee shop and edit like the wind so that I can get the studio vlog to go out the same day, like what you're watching. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't do anything.